Hello everybody, Wonky Puppy here bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. Today is the 15th of fall on uh, year one of our completionist farm. Uh, let's start the day off like we always do by checking the weather. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Stardew Valley Fair. The event will take place in Pelican Town starting between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Don't be late. Okay, cool. So we got the um, we got the fair tomorrow. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, that'll be great because that'll be a Saturday episode. That'll be a really good double episode too. Whew, it'll be exciting. Uh, anyway, let's also check out our fortune today. Welcome back to Malamix Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, well, you've come to the right place. The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Fantastic. Uh, let's also check in. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Got any tappers? Crafty foragers know how to build them. You can you can attach them to the wild trees that grow all over. Maple trees yield maple syrup. Oak trees provide resin, and pine trees produce pine tars. Syrups are the most valuable, but all tree products have their uses. Cool. So we already knew that, but anyway, we learned a little bit. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not against learning. Uh, okay, let's see. Dear Wonky Puppy, I just wanted to remind you that the Stardew Valley Fair is happening tomorrow. Don't forget to bring your nine items for the Grange display. Remember, the fair starts at 9 a.m. in the town square. See you there, Mayor Lewis. Fantastic. It looks like we got a couple of pumpkins done. We got some corn done. Never going to complain about some uh, some new stuff to, to pluck out the ground. Uh, we got a couple more pumpkins. I'm just going to sell those because we saved a whole bunch of them. So let's just uh, clear out our inventory real quick, because we got a ton of stuff. Uh, let's see, we got... Oh, get rid of that, get rid of that. Um, we'll keep that, keep that, keep that, keep that. Eh, whatever. One bit of whatever, don't care. Uh, the rest of the stuff we kind of want to keep for various purposes. But I need to put it away. Uh, I'll put away the sap. We'll put away the pine cone, put away the bat wings, put away the slime. Though I need to put that in a different place because I got my slime somewhere else at the moment. Um, all this goes into a different chest. Bug meat goes in here though. Done. Okay. Uh, so I think we have wood in here for some reason right at the moment. Yeah, we do. Uh, we got our stone in here too. So we are almost have enough for the next thing, but not quite yet. Let's put all this in here because we don't care about it. And... Uh, we'll keep the amethyst on us because we need to go find our girl here in a bit. And we'll put the slime in there too. Let's grab these guys over here. And these guys over here. And let's make ourselves another slime maker real quick. I think we needed, uh, we need a truffle, we need hardwood, and we need slime. Let's grab those and make a slime. Not a slime maker, an oil maker. Uh, right here. And plunk you down there. And the hardwood back up because we don't need that. And what else did we use? We use gold. We'll put the gold up. And the slime goes in the other spot. I can put that back where it's supposed to be. Uh, yeah, and let's make some truffle oil real quick because we still have a truffle from yesterday that we didn't take care of. Uh, now I want to sell. I want to sell these cheeses. I'm gonna. It's an artisan good. I think I'm gonna use this as the. I'm gonna use a truffle oil. Oh no! No! Oh, that would have been so bad. Oh, I almost sold that 2,500 gold coffee bean. Oh, I would have gotten like 10 cents for it too. Oh, that would have been, oh, I would have been livid about that. Oh, I would have been so mad. I'm glad I didn't actually do that. Or I'm glad I was able to undo it, I should say. I didn't do it too late. All right, so we got that. Um, so let's sell this corn that I don't really want to do anything with. <laughs> uh, let's make some apple jam and we'll keep the pomegranate because some people like pomegranates for a gift so i should start banking them up somewhere i think i'll just throw it in here for now i might actually actually have some in here you never know uh let's go into this chest and swap out the artisan good i have in here which is a gold cheese for this truffle oil that'll be my new target artisan good we got one two three four five six seven eight nine we've still got nine items all really high value items. The only thing that could be made better is to get a gold quality fish, but I don't think it's worth my time to go fishing for that stuff today. Let's throw you in here. And I want to start my giant coffee farm. I think I need another sprinkler in the greenhouse to do that though. So let's go ahead and do this, this, and we're missing a refined quartz. Of course we are, because uh, why wouldn't we be? Uh, so let's go into here and start some quartz on. Schmelt. Looks like we got another truffle, which is fantastic. 
Let's pet our duck friends and all of our other friends. And looks like there's things just running around. Oh, look at the little baby Bonnie. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I love you, Bonnie. Let's check on all this stuff. We got some more eggs. Then we'll use uh, those to make some mayonnaise. And I don't need to do anything inside the barn, I don't think. Uh, I do need to milk my cows, though. Can't believe I didn't do that. Kind of forgot about it. Uh, I don't have... Oh. Oh, I guess there's two extra things that aren't covered by a sprinkler that I didn't realize weren't covered by a sprinkler. Well, let's... um. For now, let's put the coffee bean here. That should be covered by the sprinkler that I add right there. Perfect. And that will multiply pretty darn fast. And I'll just save up a whole bunch of coffee beans for a giant coffee farm starting in spring of next year. That'll be a lot of fun. And then I can actually make coffee and give myself a speed boost. Oh, that'll be so great. Can't wait for that, actually. To be fun, 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 fun. Okay, let's make this um, the thing while I'm thinking about it. The, um, gosh, what's it called? I can't, words are not are not doing goodness for me right now. I don't know why. Um, sprinkler, that's the name of it, a sprinkler. Let's make the sprinkler. And let's put some more stuff on smelt. We're out of iron again, so we'll just do iron for now. We're actually really low on iron ore too. That's no fun. We've just been, just been smelting up a storm lately. Um, what else do I want to do today? Uh, I want to go in here and put this sprinkler down. I want to go see Abigail and uh, give her her amethyst so I don't forget to do that. And what else do I want to do? I might go fishing, but I don't want to. I might go mining and just try to get some more. I, that's what I need to do. I need to go mining and get more stone. Because that's what we started to do last episode. And I didn't get enough to do a silo. And I definitely want to get at least two more silos before the end of winter. Which means I want to have to come up with a whole bunch of stone to do that. Um, so I should probably... I'm probably going to be spending a bunch of time in the mines just getting stone. Which isn't the most exciting thing. But, you know, it's not bad. Um... Hello, is your daughter home? I've come to steal her heart. Oh, she is. She's in her room. Let me interrupt whatever you're doing and give you this. I seriously love this. You're the best, wonky puppy. I need to stretch my legs and get some fresh air today. Well, I mean, you're staring into what looks like to be a terrarium. Um, so maybe, maybe go do that and stop staring into your terrarium. That'd be fine. Uh, did we get up to eight hearts with her, I wonder? Let's see. We did can i buy the bouquet yet or do i have to wait for the letter in the mail let's find out um it's not there yet oh it is there okay cool so let's actually do this right now here you go sweetie you want to get more serious i feel the same oh i'm kind of nervous aren't you yeah i'm super nervous <laughs> bye uh, so now when we go into here, we should see, okay, so Abigail went from single to girlfriend. So she's now our girlfriend and the last two hearts are unlocked. If you, if you look at Maru, um, there, see how the two hearts on the right side of her screen are grayed out. That means that you can't get past eight hearts with her until you go into a serious relationship by giving them a bouquet. Uh, that's only, that's only the thing for single people though. So we are now officially boyfriend and girlfriend with abigail so we can keep going up all the way up to 10 hearts with her now and once we're at 10 hearts we can ask for her hand in marriage but we can't do that until we get the house upgrade so uh we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves but um we are on the right track to make all of that happen uh so the house upgrade fortunately is already part of my plans i want to do that so i can do the cooking stuff and also so i can get married here in a bit um but I'm gonna chop down these trees on my way to the mine, and then we're gonna go get a whole bunch of stone. Uh, I think I said it in the last video, but the reason I want to get some some more silos is so that I can stock up on all the grass I'm gonna need for winter and um, probably the first half of spring. I won't let the animals roam completely, so I give the grass some time to spread. But uh, yeah, I need to make sure I have enough food for them. I don't want to get into a, a situation where I have to go and um, where I have to go and buy from Marnie a whole bunch of hay because that gets so expensive so fast. Oh, there's so many dust sprites. That's awesome. These are the guys that I'm trying to get too. Uh, so they got you down. Uh, take that. Oh, we got a ladder. Nice. Oh, there's so many of them. I love it. I love it. 
I don't see any big rocks though. I'm not going to waste my time on the small rocks unless I absolutely have to. But if I get the big rocks, those are the ones I want to I want to get. I don't have enough money to buy a bunch of bombs or anything right now. Um because there's still a bunch of stuff that I have to spend money on. And one of the things I'm thinking of, if I get another big harvest or a big glut of money, is I might actually just go for it and um, do the bus repair so I can go to the desert. Though, I don't, there's no, there's nothing that I need to do in the desert right at the moment. Um, it'd be great to have the Skull Cavern, but I'm not quite ready for the Skull Cavern yet. I don't have all the stuff that I want to have quite yet. Um... So even if I got it, I wouldn't go mining too much yet. It'll be a great thing to have for winter, though. So it's definitely something I'm planning to do in winter. Because there's just so much less to take care of in winter. As uh, you're not doing crops or anything. And yeah, income can be pretty limited because you don't have crops going on. Oh, wow. We got a whole bunch of stuff from you. Refined quartz, gold, or solar essence. That's pretty good. Oh, we got another amethyst, too. Definitely need that for our girlfriend, Abigail. Uh, so let's get this. And um, anything else around here? I don't care about any of you. Oh, there's a little bit of iron over here. Let's grab that, because we're a little low on iron. And was there anything else? Oh, there's more iron. Fortunately, ah, freaking bats. I love freaking bats. Uh, let's just let's just go for it. Ah! Oh, I blocked him. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a big rock over here. Perfect. we get some stone from this. Ooh, there's a bunch of iron up there, too. Good, because I was just complaining about being low on iron. And uh, those big rocks give you 10 stone each, which is pretty good, considering um, it takes like 10 swings, I think, to get rid of them. So 10, for, 10 stone for 10 swings is a pretty reliable trade-off. It's not fantastic, right? So like you could get that by hitting normal rocks, but uh, a lot of the time, these normal rocks don't give you um, anything. A lot of times, they just drop nothing. So... Guaranteed 10 hits is good. And and these greater levels down here, there are these higher levels past the copper levels. Um, because they don't have an upgraded pickaxe, it takes me two swings per. So it's actually a lot more efficient to do it this way. But now let's try the lower levels a little bit. Let's do 15 and see if we can't get something fun. Oh, we got a ladder. Nice. And some bug meat. Um, any big rocks anywhere? I don't see any. Nope. No big rocks. Oh, well. Um... I might take out some of these guys, too, because they have a better chance of dropping stone. And sometimes two stones per. I think... I don't... I don't think they're guaranteed to give you stone, but it's a rare... It's a rare moment when they don't give you stone. They almost always do give you stone. So that's nice. Um, I'm going to eat these two cave carrots. Just to clear up some room in my inventory. And be able to pick up this copper, because I definitely want the copper. I've been complaining about copper, so... I definitely need to pick it up. Okay, we got multiple ladder options, tons of copper, and some big stones. This is a really good floor. This is a nice little mix-up I just did Come into this level. Get all the stuff that we're looking for. It'd be so awesome if one of these guys dropped a, another ancient seed. It's super unlikely, but it'd be just so cool if it happened. Anything fun from you? One bit of hardwood, not worth clearing something in my inventory. Um, sap, yeah, I've got room for sap. Uh, I don't need sap for a while because uh, I'm not going to have a big field to mess with in winter. You can't really plant much in winter. Uh, I'll probably plant the forageables because that's something you can do and you can plant. And I already have all the infrastructure set up to have everything automatically watered. So I might as well do something with that rather than just letting it sit there and do nothing. I mean, it's still going to be there watering everything. Um, yeah, so might as well do what I can. Uh, let's see. We got another big stone, which is fantastic. I'll need to check my inventory here in a minute and just see how I'm doing on stone. I think I needed 30 some odd stone in order to do one of the, the silos because I had 60 something. Okay, so I should have enough to do one silo tomorrow. I think I needed mud, which I've got a, a good amount of mud. I say mud, I mean clay because it looks like mud and I call it mud. Um... I need 100 stone, I need 5 bits of copper and some money, so I should be good to go. Because I think I have 9 copper bars in my in my chest right at the moment. Um, definitely enough to do 2, and you can't even do 2 at one time anyway, so I'll just have to make sure I smelt another copper bar. And uh, get a whole bunch more stone for the next run. I'm going to go ahead and start working on that now, because I'd prefer to not spend every day down here. 
I'd rather do something more interesting with you guys, but this will still be a good day. Let's see. We got a little bit of there. We got three stones from that one, so that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, we're just going to head to the ladder then, because I don't want to waste a whole bunch of energy on these little bitty stones if we don't have to. Let's go over to 25. Is this going to be a dark level? Hopefully not. No, it's not. Cool. Uh, I think it's 30 to 40 that are the dark levels. I try to avoid those just because it's really hard to see and it looks really bad in recordings. You just can't see anything. Uh, so that kind of sucks. But, oh well. It is what it is. Some, you just have to power through them at some point. But I just avoid them otherwise. I think I have a glow ring though, so it could be a little bit better. Still spooky. Prefer these levels. Alright, so let's chop all you, chop all you, chop all you. Yeah, you guys don't have anything, but you might drop a ladder, which would be convenient. Just save me a trip back. Oh, there's a ladder. Perfect. I'll just grab these stones from these guys. And let's head down to the next level. Uh, ooh, topaz. I don't think I have any room for it. Um, but it'd be good mining experience. We'll just drop this pine cone. No need a pine cone. Don't need no pine cones for nothing. Ooh, amethyst. Very nice. We're definitely going to get that. Again, another great gift for the girlfriend. Let's chop all this stone up with our pickaxe. And see if we can spot any big rocks. That'd be really handy if we could. Um, but I don't see any. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. And you, you want to drop a ladder for me? Be super nice. You don't. That's fine. Do you want to drop a ladder for me? Being super nice. You don't either. That's that's fine. I'll just remember that forever, okay? What is with all the bugs all of a sudden? Where are they coming from? Gotta wonder sometimes. Alright, let's back out of here. And we might have time to do like one more run in one of these areas. Let's try 30. We haven't done one of these yet. One of these little areas. Oh, okay. So this is where we're getting into the dark levels, which I really don't like. Let's pick up this copper though. Uh, again, just because it's good to have copper. And we got a ladder. Um, well, since we're... No, no. I'm just going to back out. I don't like this level. Uh, let's do 25 again. Because that was uh, that was pretty fruitful last time. Oh, yep. We got some of these guys down here. Uh, yeah, let's eat a couple uh, blackberries just to top our health back off. Just like so. And that should be enough to get us through the rest of this mining trip. If I actually use my energy efficiently and don't just throw my slur, um, fling my pickaxe around willy-nilly. Oh, there's a mystery node thingy. I don't know what these are actually called, but they can produce all kinds of stuff. And that one produced the topaz. So they're kind of cool. You could even get a prismatic shard from them, which is kind of crazy. I don't know that you can do it before you unlock the skull cavern, though. That actually might be a reason to go to the skull cavern is try to unlock prismatic shards, too. Because um, that once you get a prismatic shard, you get the best sword of the game, which is amazing and i'd really like to have that <laughs> uh let's get a couple more of these stones and then just clear this level super quick and we're gonna have to head back right after that actually we might we just want to go ahead and head back now but there's so much over there okay no we don't have time we got we gotta head back no we got we, we gotta go for it we gotta at least get that big rock i mean come on we gotta at least get that big rock and get a little bit of quartz while we're at it yeah it's only midnight we got we got we got time it's okay Let's do that. I know I'm starting to feel exhausted. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. All right, let's make sure I don't completely exhaust myself. Okay, I'm good. Uh, I'm just gonna go for it. Let's head back. It's already 12. I'd like to get in bed before one, and I'd like to try to sort out at least a little bit of my inventory before we do that. Um, it's not very likely I'm gonna be able to, but we'll give it a go. Uh, bus stop, please. Tally ho! Okay, there's some oak resin. I'll pick that up tomorrow. I don't really have time to do it right this second, but uh, it'll be a good thing to do tomorrow. Um, let us see. Let's get rid of this topaz. We're going to keep the amethyst. Anything else I want to sell? Nope. I want to keep all the rest. We got 145 stone, though, so that's pretty good. Um, which means... Oh, we have 200. Oh, we got enough stone to do both of the things that we wanted to do. Both of the... Um, whatchamacalls. I can't remember anything. That's fun. Um... The silos, that's what they're called, silos. Let's smelt more iron because we're really low on iron. We'll throw you in there. We'll throw you in there. I guess we'll throw you in there. Oh, we already have some of them. Oh, that's fine. I'll throw you in there, you in there. Uh, you can go in there too. 
Um, I'll need to take one of you back out though. I'm just going to remember to keep on me. Uh, do that, that, and do that. And let's on my way in, throw this stuff in here, just like so. And then run straight to bed. We might get a little bit of energy penalty, but I might be able to make it. Oh, made it just by the skin of my teeth. Awesome. Any Anything good happen? Nope. We got just an eensy, eensy woo woo of gold. Uh, mostly from artisan goods and a couple of pumpkins that we got. Uh, a little bit from mining. We got a whole one gold. Gold from that bit of fiber I threw in there. Total of 3,700 gold. Not a good day, but... We got a lot of stone, and we became a boyfriend and girlfriend with Abigail, so that's good. Uh, anyway, I am going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please leave a like below to let me know that. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with everything going on in the channel. And uh, don't forget to join the Discord server to hang out and chat with me and the community and see what's going on. Um, until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!